So I'm going to try to measure how many water molecules attach to each polyacrylate molecule in these water beads. So for comparison, copper sulfate tends to be hydrated with five water molecules and magnesium sulfate with seven. So I've got the balance. Let's add one teeny weeny one. Okay, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to weigh more than one out and then do a little bit of maths. All right, that seems like enough for now. Okay, so I'm taking the excess water off of the hydrated polyacrylate beads and now I'm gonna remass them. So that's 4.52 grams and there's 23 fully hydrated beads there. Okay, let's crunch some numbers. First of all, let me put down the raw data. So before hydration, I massed out 38 beads with a total mass of 0.18 grams. A simple division gives me 0.0047 grams per bead. I also dropped a whole bunch on the floor. I feel them under my feet even after sweeping. After hydration, well, their mass increased. 23 of those hydrated beads had a mass of 4.52 grams. That gives a mass per bead of 0 0.197 grams once they're hydrated. Okay, let's do some stoichiometry. I like to write it out in a grid. X is unknown. I don't know, I don't know how many water molecules are attached to those polyacrylate beads molecules at the end. So I'm gonna draw three lines I'm going to put moles, mass, and molar mass. Also, I'm going to put the units there in case I forget later on, and then the IB can't knock a point off. Grams per mole for molar mass. Alrighty, on the internet, I looked up the average mass of these polyacrylate beads. The molar mass was about 6,000, so only one sig fig, because I don't know specifically what those ones were that I bought. Now to work out this X, let's put in some data. So the mass of the bead goes there, unhydrated. Hydrated bead goes there. It's tempting to put in the molar mass here, but you don't know what X is, so you can't work that out. I know that's 18 though. The mass of the water, well that's the difference in the mass of the bead before and after hydration. I'm going to end up with one sig fig at the end, so I don't have to be too concerned about the maths up until the end. Alrighty. Now, if we can just work out the moles, and almost always in chemistry, the stoichiometry is about the moles. One of those needs X of those to make one of those. All right, that's the ratio of the moles as well. So moles is mass over molar mass. Let me work out those two molar values. Sense this when you smile. 
7.8 times 10 to the minus 7 moles. And then it's just simple cross multiplication. So 1 over 7.8 times 10 to the minus 7 equals x over 0.011. Solve for x. Since the coefficients in the equation are proportional to the number of moles, you just have to do cross multiplication. Wow. So 14,000 to one sig fig actually is 10,000. So 10,000 molecules of water attract to each polyacrylate bead. That's mad considering how small they are. All right, and we're done.